Just wanted to go over and show you the uh, my detour um, that I'm taking after we left um, Kissarge Pass and we spent the uh, night at uh, in Lone Pine and then went down to Mammoth Lakes where we picked up a shuttle and uh, we took it over here to Red's Meadow. Uh, they picked up the resupply bucket there. Uh, we had a really nice breakfast and now we're moving up out of there if you notice the elevation 7720 feet we came up past the uh, devil's post pile and we'll be moving up now to spend our first night climbing up into this area see the elevations are going up and up and up until we get to rosalie lake where we will be spending uh, the night and fishing there and camping for one night. Uh, the following morning we'll be getting up uh, and then we'll be climbing up to 8,760 feet to Shadow Lake and then beyond, keep going up the trail uh, to eventually get to 9,750 feet uh, up to Garnett Lake where I plan on spending uh, an hour or so fishing and having lunch. Uh, it's supposed to be a beautiful lake, and uh, it's at 9,700 feet. And then after that, uh, move on to our final destination for the for a couple days, up past Ruby Lake here, Emerald Lake here, and then eventually there's a junction right here, uh, Thousand Island Lakes, where we'll be spending a couple days uh, going down somewhere around this area and uh, fishing there for a couple days. Uh, spending some R&R uh, &R quiet time there and just catching some fish, eating fish, and and so forth. Uh, then, after that, uh, we'll be coming out. There's a junction right there. Uh, the gang, those guys will be heading north, going on over Island Pass and over Donahue Pass, and eventually to Tuolumne Meadows, and their final destination going to uh, Yosemite, where they're going to do Half Dome and that. Me, I'll be leaving them, and I'll be heading up the High Sierra Trail on the PCT. <clears throat> I'll be coming down. It's pretty much a little bit of elevation, but mostly a decline coming down. And uh, trying to get back to this area, uh, Agnew Meadows, uh, before noon. <clears throat> and... Uh, here, I'll be hanging out. I'm tr trying to make contact with uh, the shuttle driver to come pick me up and then eventually bring me back to uh, Mammoth Lakes where I'll be spending the night and then the following day <clears throat> I will be getting a uh, my flight back to Florida. So, this is uh, Tom Harrison, map number five. And uh, that's the plan for the detour and the remainder of my trip and I'll see how it works out. This is the bridge coming out of Devil's Post Pile. I don't know who this guy is. He keeps following me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Here's Josh uh, frying up some fresh catch tonight. A little appetizer of rainbow trout that he caught. He's a killer. Fish fear him. <laughs> <laughs> the Sierra fish fear him. Sauteing it up in olive oil and salt and pepper. Good morning. Today is a Thursday. I don't know what day that we are out here, but we're just leaving Rosalie Lake. Uh, it's about 7:45 in the morning. Uh, those guys are behind me right now. They're just getting up, but they'll surely catch up with me soon. Uh, probably go up to Garnett Lake, which is about five miles. I have lunch. And uh, then we're onward to uh, Thousand Island Lake, which is probably another four, four miles. And that's where we're going to spend a couple days, tell you the truth, and just fish, because the fishing is really good there. Garnett Lake's supposed to be really beautiful, and Thousand Island Lake's even beautiful. So I'm leaving Rosalie Lake. And sun's coming up. That's what it's like off to the whatever, south. Uh, we caught some fish here yesterday. We ate some fish. About a half hour later, I'm coming down to some other lake. I haven't looked it up yet, but it's it's all these switchbacks all up and down. I guess I'm going through that uh, little valley there or around the lake, something on the other side. I'm not sure, but it's all downhill it's pretty much since I left camp. Pretty steep downhill. It's playing on my knees a little bit. Um, then, you know, as soon as you go downhill, what comes next is a lot of uphill. <laughs> But anyway, moving on. It's just about an hour later, and I'm at Shadow Lake. Uh, you're not allowed to camp here, but it is one beautiful lake. It was a, a long decline from where we were. I think I'm going around the lake now, and I'm sure I'm going to have to climb again. So. What a beautiful lake, beautiful place. As soon as you come around Shadow Lake, you come to a really nice stream. Looks like there's a bridge up ahead. The waterfall's up in there. Deep pool right there, but there's some fish in that pool. Nice of them to put a bridge here. Wow, pretty awesome. There's the trail coming. Trail going. I'll have to find out what the name of this falls is. Water's crystal clear. This gets keeps getting better and better, I'll tell you. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how many times I've said that. Mile, a couple miles, a couple hours out of camp, headed up to Garnet Lake, about two miles. Still a lot of snow up in these mountains here. 
Beautiful day here though, it's probably in the mid to high 60s. Barnett Lake. Whew, how beautiful is that? Again, I'm saying that. Look at that island out there. What I wouldn't give to have my kayak out there would be awesome. Holy shit. Crystal clear water. I knew you. This place beautiful. Unbelievable. Look at the snow up in the uh, in the valleys there. What are we pulling all? I'm sad you didn't get to see that upper area over there. It was water in it. It's beautiful when there's water running down that. Oh really? That, uh, yeah, like it was empty, dried up. Yeah. Yep. Lake. Caught four fish there. Really big. One big brown trout, one gorgeous, really big brook trout, and a Going past Ruby Lake right now. It was a climb out of Garnet, now a big decline out of Garnet and we're coming up I don't know if you can see it here to my left this is all Ruby Lake back in here and the next lake that I'll be hitting will be Emerald Lake and then after that Thousand Island Lake and we're done for a couple days we're gonna fish and camp Hold them up, Lee. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> 